Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains and this is a quick bonus video as a follow-up to yesterday's video about the uh, disk I.O. speed when you fill up a uh, at the disk on an Android phone. Now some people got a bit confused about what that video was about and today I want to kind of do a follow-up and answer the question, will Android slow down when you don't have enough free disk space? If you want to find out more, please let me explain. So this really is a quick follow-up video. I'm not in my studio. I'm gonna to try to do this all straight to camera without uh, much editing. So this really is just a bonus video to follow up from yesterday. So if you wanna know the answer quickly without watching the whole video, yes, your Android phone will slow down terribly when you don't have enough free space. But that's not because of the speed of the internal disk. It's for completely different reasons. Now, let me unpack that for those of you that are interested. So basically, every operating system needs disk space to run. There are all manner of things that writes to the disk, including configuration, including caching files, including logging data. There's so much that an operating system needs. Now, obviously, if you get into a space where you don't have enough of that disk, then that is a critical error situation. And in critical error situations, funny things happen. Now, first of all, we need to bust a few myths that came up from uh, yesterday in the comments. And the first one is that Android does not use the disk for uh, swapping. Some people said, ah, oh, but once you start swapping, it's really gonna kill the IO. Android does not use the internal disk for swapping. Now, I have a whole video on Android memory management here on this channel, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. The second thing to notice is that it doesn't matter how many apps you install, that's not going to slow down your phone because they've taken up space on the internal storage. And I proved that yesterday in yesterday's video. However, if you install apps that are doing things in the background, of course it's gonna slow down your phone. So apps that do things in the background, like email apps and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and any social media app and other things that are you know, getting news feeds or whatever, anything that has to fire up something in the background to go and fetch something from the internet is gonna slow down your phone. If you install a hundred such apps, then your phone is going to go much slower. That's obvious. However, if you install just standalone apps that don't do anything, even games, even big games that take up you know, a gigabyte of disk space, that's not going to slow down your phone. And I showed that yesterday because the disk drive does not slow down when you start to fill it up. And games that are standalone will only use up CPU time when you actually run them. But if you've got lots of apps that are doing things in the background, even fetching adverts sometimes in the background, that will slow down down your phone, so you need to know that. But it's not because it's used up the disk space, it's because you're trying to do lots and lots of things all at once in the background on your device. Now, a typical Android app uses a function of Android, which is say, give me a temporary cache file. This file is great if it's there, or really help me if it's there, but if it's not there, it's not the end of the world. So for example, if you're an app like Instagram, as it's downloading things from your feed, it will take those thumbnails and it will store them in a file so that you can quickly get them the next time you start up the app without having to go back out to the internet to go and fetch that data. Now, those cache files are stored in a special directory, and when Android Android starts to run out of space, when it gets into a critical space uh, situation, it will delete those cache files across all apps. And it will start just going across all your apps installed, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, whatever you've got installed, and it will start saying, well, there's a cache file, I'll delete that. Or oh, that's a temporary file, I'll delete that, because it's desperate to try to find itself some uh, disk space. So imagine the situation, you start up Instagram, Instagram says, oh, I've got 50 photos to download overnight that have appeared on your Instagram stream. Oh, I need some disk space. Android says, oh, hold on a second, we haven't got enough. Let me go and delete the files from Facebook and from Twitter. And it will delete those files, and then it will start to create download the files from uh, you know the Instagram, and it will start creating cache files for those. Then you say, oh, I'm gonna switch over now to Facebook and see what's going on. And Facebook says, oh no, all my cache files have been deleted. I better download that stuff again. Then Android says, but hold on, we haven't got enough disk space. Oh, I'll go and delete all the cache files from Instagram. So it goes and deletes them. And then Facebook starts to download those files that it needs in the background. And then of course, because Android is going along trying to look for disk space deleting files, because Facebook is downloading stuff in the background, maybe even Instagram was still left running, downloading stuff in the background, your phone's gonna slow down, even the animations will appear slow because there's so many things going on at once. Now I'm just using Instagram and Facebook as an example. I don't know the exact techniques that those apps uh, employ, but you understand the general situation. There are these things called temporary files and they are cache files and the apps will try to replenish 
replenish those cache files when they have been deleted or when it needs them. So if you're running your phone in a critical low space scenario, then your phone is gonna run absolutely terrible. Now what do I mean by critical low space? I think if you've got 100 megabytes free, you really are already way past any sensible kind of limit. If you've got 500 megabytes free, then I think you're gonna start struggling because when we're dealing with media files, Instagram and Facebook and so on, these files can be quite large, particularly if you click on one and actually want to get the full size picture on your screen there. I think really, if you look at yesterday's test, I was dealing with you know a gigabyte because the uh, benchmarking tool I was using needed at least a gigabyte to actually create those test files that it was doing to test the IO speed. So if you are running your phone with only 500 megabytes or even less, and then you're saying it slows down, then you need to really consider how you're using your device. You either need a new device with more internal storage, or you need to delete some of the apps that you've got on there, or you need to use it in a different way, because that is a critical failure scenario. And when things are in a critical failure scenario, they go into survival mode. Android really at that point is in survival mode, trying to find disk space to actually fulfill the requirements that are being given it by these social media apps. And survival, of course, is very different to perfectly running, normally running. So of course you're going to see performance problems. So that's the reality of it. Lack of disk space is a critical failure situation. It's not because the IO itself is slow, it's because Android is desperately trying to delete files and recreate files and download and delete files and recreate files and download files all the while while you're launching new apps and going through your social media feeds. It really is a chaotic situation. Okay, as I said, that's just a quick video, direct to camera, not in my studio, not much editing, no green screen, just to answer yesterday's uh, quick question, because some people really weren't understanding what, uh, what that video was about yesterday. Okay, you know who I am, I'm Gary Sims, this is Gary Explains, I really hope you enjoyed this quick bonus video that I've made here on a Saturday. Okay, um, don't forget to subscribe and that's it, I'll see you in the next one. Android management, memory management,